And guys, listen. Do not let fear in have, have interfere. Girl. Do not let fear, fear interfere. interfere. Girl. <laughs> oh, happy birthday to Spice. Wait, I'm going to I'm a clean mouth. I'm a pink tongue, kind of food up on my teeth, white and clean. I'm going to fix my ear over here, so and this me a tap out. Ooh, skin up me boom boom. Pony body me a wine and a boom boom. Miss cool it, cool it down. Cool it, cool it down. Cool it. You want to ride me like a genie. So me say, open sesame. Your man. Eh, eh, eh. Body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins. What's up, Betty Army? Welcome to another mook. Bye. Happy Thursday, guys. Listen, another day. We're almost at the end of a new week. Hear me. We're almost at the end of this week, girl. What am I saying? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Rewind. Guys, we're almost at the end of another week, honey. Listen, we've made it. We're here, honey. We're alive. We're blessed. Never stressed. Hope you guys honey. are having an amazing week so far. Today, we have some catfish, and not the catfish that you find on MTV, but the fried catfish, the fish, yes? We have some... Um, a steamed cabbage at the back right here, along with some as asparagus, okay? And, um, yes, this looks so scrumptious. We also have the coldest water bottle in the building. Click the link in our description to get your very own. And use our code DEHYDRATED to get 10% off your entire order. I said use our code DEHYDRATED to get 10% off your entire order. Mm-hmm. It's, tr it's string beans. Those are asparagus. You're always wrong. Oh. Anyways, let's say our grace. God, God is good. God is great. great. Let, Let us thank Him for our food. food. Amen. Amen. I ain't never seen asparagus so so thick. Guys, make sure you grab a snack and come right on back. I would like to see it. <laughs> oh, it really is. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Well. He gonna tell me what I ordered. How did it get asparagus? This look like train bean. But guys, okay, I think this is my second time. It's gonna be my second time trying catfish. But look how good this piece of catfish looks. It looks well fried. I am glad this is not breaded, girl. Yeah, this is not breaded. I'm glad, honey. It look good. Don't it look good? I wonder what they fry it with, honey. I'm, I'm excited to see how seasoned it is. Ooh, it's okay, smells good, so girl. I'm going to start off with some cabbage, I think. Okay, um, let me try this asparagus looking like string bean, honey. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and I also have some tartar sauce on the side. How you doing? Mmm, this cabbage is good. Oh, it is asparagus. Mmm, okay. How come y'all never told me that asparagus come so thin? Is these asparagus um, uh, 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 on a um, low carb diet, girl? Why they so skinny? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, let me try this fish now, guys. Cabbage tastes good, too. Mm. Break a piece off. Ooh, Listen, guys. She is thick. Look at her. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let me put a little bit of this on there. This cabbage is good. I don't think I want no tartar sauce. Should I try it with the tartar sauce? Should I? Mmm. 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 The tartar sauce is potent, girl. Mmm. Alright, let me try. 
Ooh, she breaking. Mmm. This traffic is actually good. Oh, wow. Look how thick it is. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Ah, this is thick, girl. All right. So, um, ooh, I like the white meat. Look at the white meat. All right. Let me mm. try it with the tartar sauce. Mmm. Oh, it's actually good with the tartar sauce. So, I was trying to figure out if mm. catfish has a different taste than regular fish. And it does. It's a little bit more salty to me. Is it? Yeah. <coughs> this one isn't, though. Ate that. Ooh, and it tastes really good in the tartar sauce. Mmm. I think I like this one better than the first one we got. This one is softer. The other one was kind of hard. Y'all, make sure y'all grab a snack and come on back, honey. Listen, you already know. You're an you are hourly. I already said that. Girl, keep up. You already know. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, let me do the PBO. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This catfish is so good. I, I done forgot, girl. Mm -mm. When does asparagus is hard, y'all? Mm. Guys, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so the 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 um the stay positive um code of the day goes a little something like this. You will always feel fear. Everyone will, but your trust must be bigger than your fear. Mm -hmm. The bigger your trust, the smaller your fear becomes, and the more you trust, the more you become a conduit for miracles. Message. Message. Big message, okay? Yes, that's correct. When I tell you that fear is a hell of a thing, girl. Mm, 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 mm. A lot of us have dreams and aspirations, but just out of fear, we don't take that first step to doing what we really want to do. No, ma'am, we can't let fear hold us back. No, ma'am. Mm. Mm. And this is really good. Happy Independence Day to all our Jamaican people out there. Yes. Happy Independence. Mm. Jamaican massive stand up. Caribbean massive on a large up. Are you healthy? You're strong. You look good. You have all of the something they bought you. Yes, good. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. This is really good. Mm. What was I about to say? So guys, because um somebody kept talking about the Real Housewives of Potomac, to Potomac or Ooh, Potomac, is that? Ooh. Potomac or what? How you pronounce it, girl? I took it upon myself to watch the two first episodes of season five, the new season last night and i really love the show i love the characters i i love the show so i think my least favorite is what's her name with um amber no there's no amber in it the one that's um gonna, the, the white one with a short hair isn't that her name that's with the black guy no yeah the one that's gonna Giselle's best friend no i'm gonna get remarried to her mm -mm, just not friend? remarried he's gonna ask her What's her name? Ain't nobody in there by no name Amber. What's her name again? I think her name is Amber. No. If, no. Ain't nobody named Amber in there. Oh, well, her. She's my least favorite, too. She's really boring. She's boring, and she's like... I don't know who the, um... I don't know who to compare her to in terms of, um... Housewives of, of, of Atlanta. Somebody who, who's just dare taking space. She was talking up around that table though. 
What episode, what episode of what season are you watching? The, the new the new season. The new season? Yes. I watched the first and the second episode. When there was when there was around the table, the dinner that they went to in Oh she did say a few she stuff, did but say she didn't. Mm-hmm. You talking about the one with the short hair, right? The white one. The one that the guy's gonna propose to. Yeah, her. By the way, her yeah. name is either Amber or Susan. I don't remember. <laughs> it's neither. I don't remember. She's the least those names. favorite. I I don't remember her name. But anyways, I like Giselle. I like Monique. I like Candace. And I like Wendy. Wendy's it? She, Wendy's new. She's right? a new one. Yeah, I like her. And too. And I, I like Ashley too. What about Karen? I like Karen. You know who's Karen? I don't know, but her man, <laughs> her man is the one with the old man. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I like her. I like her. See, the thing is, you're just you just watch two episodes. You don't really um. Well, like know them, know well, them. Well, what I did is after I watched those two episodes, I watched. The first episode of the last season, season four. So or the first one? Yeah, so I know more about Candace. Um that's when Candace was getting married. Well the the, the episode before she was getting married. When she was going through it with her mom? Yeah, and not wanting her brother to come to the wedding. Mm-hmm. So I like it. And I could see that I actually don't have to go back and watch all the seasons. I can watch season four and then watch season five and I'm good. The tartar sauce with the fish is actually good. How do you guys like your catfish? Comment down below. Do you like it fried? I'm sure they like it with a lot of uh, with a lot of hot sauce. Hot sauce, yeah. And I, who, and I see people put um apple cider vinegar on there too. Mm mm. I don't think that's for me. They put hot sauce and apple cider vinegar. No, ma'am. No ma'am, that's that maybe an, an acquired taste. I can't do apple cider vinegar. So let me, let me, I want to talk about something. People always be putting their self into hot water that they don't need to be in. Girl. Why can't people just mind their business and do their own and make their own money or whatever and leave people, okay? Who now? Alicia Keys is launching a new beauty brand with Elf. Okay? This, the thing says a new beauty brand. It doesn't say if it's a makeup brand or what. Now, Girl. Jeffree Star went on Twitter and, and Jeffree Star, not Jeffree Star, James Char James Charles, they all the same girl. <laughs> <laughs> James Charles went on Twitter and said, "People who do not wear makeup should not be coming out with makeup brands." But that's just my opinion. Then his friend Manny says, does anyone else get slightly irritated when celebrities come out with entire makeup lines? Especially when those celebrities don't even wear makeup? I'm like, girl. Mind you, Alicia Keys is coming out with a skincare line, not a makeup line. And, and whether or not she want to come out with a makeup... And you guys do not run this makeup thing. Y'all need to sit down. Yeah, I don't know why y'all feel like... like because y'all white or whatever, y'all run things. These Girl. white boys. And 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 then if that's the case, people can people can counteract your your statement and say, okay, well, boys are not supposed to wear makeup. Yeah. So I don't get it. Y'all just need to shut up. That's what y'all need to do. And then J and James Charles had to end up apologizing. And but do you think this is a race thing? Because if it was a white. White artists coming out and saying, a white artist that wear minimal makeup and come out saying they're coming out with a um, thingy line. But but they, they don't even think though. Because if Alicia Keys don't wear makeup no more, she's coming out with some kind of cosmetic thing. It would have to be something for the skin. Mm -hmm. Girl, that's why y'all just shut up and mind y'all But even if it was makeup, this is Alicia Keys. This is <laughs> Alicia Keys. She's she worn up. makeup. She can come out with makeup if she wants. Yeah. Like who are you? Um, y'all don't own the um, y'all don't own industry. nothing. Like y'all can't tell people what to do. That's why y'all need to mind y'all business. That's why y'all would never prosper. Y'all would never be successful. 
Cause y'all talent, you're talentless. Y'all don't have no talent. And then if you want to pop some shit, girl, be a man and be straightforward. Add Alicia Keys. He never add her, but in the apology, he said he was talking about her. Okay. He had he add her this time and said he was talking about her. Oh, so that make a lot of sense. Your initial, whatever what you said, you went said who you was talking about. Uh huh. But when you apologize, you want to say, girl, you're late. You're really late. That was so dumb. In his apology, he said, Yesterday I posted a subtweet about how I thought some celebrity shouldn't launch makeup lines. It was about Alicia Keys. A few a few years ago she announced she was no longer wearing makeup. That don't make no fuck that don't still don't make no, no sense. And it, what did I not she launched that years ago? Said so she wasn't gonna wear no makeup. She what that got to do with you? That was years ago. She can't change her mind and wear makeup again if she wanted to. And she and when she performed um recently she was wearing makeup. When she performed um for the BET Awards, mm -hmm. she was wearing makeup. But so what? She's grown. She can do whatever she wanna do. That's like that's like um females saying boys or men can't be a face of a makeup brand because. Makeup wasn't made for men. That's like the same thing. Like, what if people were saying that? Like, girl, sit your white ass down somewhere, okay? Because that's what you think you have, white privilege, and you can say whatever you want to say, girl, because you have numbers on your side. Y'all don't, I'm tired of y'all don't own anything, okay? Y'all ain't slaying this makeup game nothing. Y'all don't own anything. Only so, thing y'all own is y'all damn mouths, and y'all apparently y'all don't own it because y'all run it so much. It belongs to the streets, girl. I'm getting tired. And then somebody else had to jump on the bandwagon. The girl. At the end of the day, all of y'all is racist. That's what I think. That's my opinion, girl. Cause had it been a Katy Perry or a damn Taylor Swift, y'all wouldn't have nothing to say. Oh, but y'all wanna jump on what somebody somebody said? Oh, I'm gonna stop wearing makeup um three or so years ago, and now you wanna talk about girl? People girl, mind their business, honey, mind your business. Just like how most of y'all makeup artists or whatever or actors or singers wanna jump in the rap field when that is not even your profession. What is wrong? People dibble and dabble in all kind of um things. That's what you. It's called brand deals. It's called Get what I'm saying? Girl. Get on my damn nerve, girl. Mm-mm. Anyway, comment down below. What y'all think about the situation? Let us know what y'all think because when it comes to these, these, these white beauty influencers, girl, they always look at race and stuff like that and they try to act like they don't have preference when it comes to color and they damn do. I'm telling you. So anyways, on to something more positive and more relevant, girl. Um, Kiki Palmer Ooh. has been added to the Proud family. Oh, really? Yes. And, oh, wow. Um, um, her name is, she's a 14-year-old activist called Maya Lubowitz Jenkins. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that. That's a lot and of names. It's going to be on Disney+. Plus. Okay, and I'm gonna put a picture and show y'all how the character looks. She looks so cute. But I love me some Kiki. But not only is she doing that, she will be hosting the 2020 um, VMAs. Oh, and talking about that, is, this, is it gonna be a virtual day? It's gonna, I think it's gonna be live because it says live from New York City. So I think it's gonna be live. I don't know how they're gonna do that. Oh. I think it's gonna be live. I don't think it's virtual because it's, 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 it's the last day. It's the last day in August, August 30th. So, I'm not August? sure. August? Mm-hmm. This month, the end of this month. Wait, what phase are we in? Are we in um, phase four? Don't we need to be like phase 10? <laughs> I think New York is doing good because I keep reading that they report in days that there is no deaths. Oh, girl. <laughs> but still, I'm staying inside. But anyways, congrats, um, Kiki. Girl, honey, you remember when Kiki had her own show? I wonder why that didn't seem there. A talk show? Mm -hmm. she had her own That's talk what show. I noticed. Talk shows don't last because it's all about the ratings, and there's a lot involved behind the scenes. Uh huh. You have to have a constant amount of ratings, and you have to beat out all these other talk shows and stuff like that. 
So if the, if the ratings are not up there, girl, they're canceling you, girl. And the thing with, with talk shows is, they, they put you on a, um, when you first start out, they put you on a thingy. It's like a, um, what they call it again? Pilot? Is it a pilot? Yeah. I think it's a pilot or is a, is it a pilot or a cockpit? I think it's a, a cockpit? I think it's a pilot where they try out the show. You, but mean, Kiki, you mean it's like a tryout, like they give you like the first week to try out to see the views? Yeah. Well, not the first week, probably. They, they did that with Wendy first. Yeah. But Kiki had a good few uh, episodes. I remember watching them. Girl. I remember watching because I remember Brandy was on there one time. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of politics that go on, girl. Honey. Yes, ma'am. But anyway, shout out to Kiki. I feel like at the end of the day, it's all about the views. If you don't get the views, then they're going to chop you. <laughs> Talking about talk shows, do y'all think Wendy's coming back? Is Wendy still, she still got her contract? Wendy seems like she needs to take a break though. Even though she's on a break now, mm -hmm. she seems very sickly though. Like, so? like feeble. When I watch videos of her, it's I like- think, I think mentally sometimes it's like she's not there. I, when I watch videos of her, it's like she, she don't have no energy. It's like she uses her last energy like you don't see no life in her. I wonder if she she does that to um to maintain or to to, to thingy her energy. So, girl, I don't know. Mmm, that catfish was it. <sighs> what catfish? There ain't no catfish. You I'll be, you don't like that asparagus? Check on MTV. Some of them are too hard. Girl, I just. But talking about catfish. Why I watch a new episode last night of I Catfish, seen it. a virtual one, like that's whack. Like it was, I already knew it was fake, but to have a virtual one, this was even more fake. In the first place, why do they even still have that show Catfish? I mean, who I, I watches people Catfish? People watch it. Girl, if y'all don't... But it was obvious that that was staged because if you can't meet somebody in person, and if, if the person wasn't FaceTiming you, how the hell Neve and this other girl gonna get them to get on camp, to get on Zoom. Mm. They're on Zoom. Girl, I watched a new episode, a new episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Girl, you need to start watching that girl. When I tell you, girl, when I tell you, Denise Richards is, is lying up and down about the whole Brandy situation, how are you gonna tell um Teddy and all of them around that table that you specifically did not speak to Candy? Um, did not speak to Brandy the day before. When it's on tape, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't it on tape? They have she. They have her talking <laughs> no. to Brandy on tape. No, they don't. <laughs> Stop! You're throwing me off. Okay, so the night before, when it was at dinner, when she was confronted, when Teddy spilled the beans, girl. She told Teddy, she told the whole table that she haven't been speaking to Brandy. When Brandy had said she spoke to her the night before the actual party. Come to find out the next day she go, she gonna say she did speak to Brandy and Brandy was saying stuff about all of them. And saying that she slept with somebody around this table. So I'm like, girl that don't make no sense. You know what she gives the fifth grade? The little girl, the little white girl no. with ponytails. No. What's his name off of um um America's Next Top Model? How? Oh, um, Jay. Yeah. Oh, I was I thinking about the one with the little, little little white girl. She go like this with the two ponytails. Oh. So yeah. So what she's trying to do is flip the flip the whole thing because remember um Brandy said they slept together. So she's trying to flip it and see to make Brandy seem that she's a liar and she said that about everybody. But you are dumb. Girl, we know you're an actress girl, but you can't flip that like that. Cause the night before you said you didn't even speak with Brandy. You make it seem like you and Brandy don't have this relationship where y'all talk. And you trying to switch it up. And nobody mentioned it at that time that she had said something else. But I know it's gonna come out later on, girl. I think they're trying to um because they're in Rome, they, they try not to get in arguments or whatever, they just wanna have fun. But girl, when I tell you Dorit is coming out with the fashions, girl. Dorit? Dorit can dress her, Dorit can dress. They be looking good too in Real Housewives of, of Potomac. Mm-hmm. They look good. Who, 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 I would say dress the best over there. 
<laughs> Who you think is the prettiest? M Monique is really pretty. Monique. Candice is really pretty. Hands too. down, Monique. But it would be Monique, then um, then Candice. Uh huh. Then Giselle. And her hair be looking on point. Then like Giselle. Candice here be looking on point. Oh girl. You know, sometimes you have the, the laces that look. Oh girl, that takes time. <laughs> go, go back to season one. Y'all notice that? And, notice okay. that? and I, I can tell that Karen wears a lot of wig. Listen, y'all can, listen. When I tell you these, we see actually see these housewives glow up. Mm -hmm. Girl, from wearing their kitchen all messed up in the back, girl. Now they uh -huh. have laid lace front. Girl. And Ashley, when she is regular, she looks very regular. But then when she puts herself together, she actually looks good. Well, Ashley, because of her skin tone, even when she puts on makeup, it doesn't really look like she has on makeup. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, she. the only thing that you might even notice is that she can't conceal under her eyes uh -huh. and stuff like that. But she's not really... Makeup but only. I love Giselle. I love that outfit. I that love she Giselle wore to too. the party. I love I think you need to go back because there's a lot of fun stuff that you miss. That's why I'm watching season four. Yeah. But I would say in terms of physical, I would say Monique. Monique is really pretty. Yeah, Monique. And Monique, really guess who Monique is best friends with? Who? Even before she transitioned. Um. Um What's her name? Who? Um, Kimaya? No, um, Riley Knox. The Beyonce oh, impersonator. Oh. Yes, Riley Knox. They did an interview on her channel, and they've known each other way before, way before she transitioned and stuff like that, so they've been best friends. Um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, Dory come mm -hmm. out with a fashion. Do you know, um, um... Her name is Don't Read? <laughs> No, Dorit. Oh. Dorit. And um, Erica always come out with the fashions too. For some reason, Erica's fashions in Rome is not really, it's not really hitting like it used to be. Dorit is giving her a run for her money. Dorit is doing the damn thing. When it comes to hair and everything, Dorit is doing it. She's Versace down the whole trip. She's doing it. Um, As for Sutton... Sutton have a classy old woman look like a vintage. Mm, I don't know if I'm if the if the millennials is here for it, girl. I guess, but I'm starting to like Sutton. Sutton is more laid back and more, you know. Yeah, she's getting okay. Garcelle is my girl. I love Garcelle. Garcelle is my girl. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. What else was on TV? I don't know. No, no, girl. Wait, nothing else was on TV, girl. Nothing else was on TV, but that was it. Um, oh, Greenleaf. For those who watch Greenleaf, <gasps> that ending. You don't watch Greenleaf, girl. Girl, when that I tell you. That ending, though, of the last episode. When I tell you, Latoya Lockett, read that. You like Latoya Lockett. Oh, you watch did it? that, girl. Honey, <laughs> you never <laughs> watch it. <laughs> But she she did kind of read the girl. I just saw the thing, like you know, like when you go on Mr. World Premiere, you see the thing. Yeah. But I thought you said Latoya Lockett wasn't gonna come back on. She there. came. No, she she wasn't true in the whole season. She wasn't. It's the past two episodes she came back. Oh. And then I saw the thing, like somebody in the thing, uh, the thumbnail looking like Selena Johnson. Selena Johnson in there? Mm -mm. Oh, I saw a black woman looking like Selena Johnson. Oh, okay. No, but yeah. Um, it was good. The episode was good. But yeah, I am full, guys. As, as you can see, the plate is empty. <laughs> you think, girl? I, well, uh, she's not quite empty. She is. Full. You could have edited right the, the, the things because I'm I the one. Them. Am I kind? I'm kind of full. Oh. But yeah, that but was anyways. really nice. That was wonderful, guys. But y'all already know what time it is. <laughs> it's time for shout out. It's that time again and again, like every other day, baby. Okay, so I want to give a shout out to Lindy Mongol Ooh. from Trinidad and Tobago in another house. Ooh, goodbye. Here, good girl, Lindy. Lindy, yeah. Oh, happy birthday to Spice. Wait, I'm going to I'm a clean mouth. I'm a pink tongue. Kind of food in the palm of my teeth. White and clean. I'm going to fix my ear over here. So, and this is my top mouth. Ooh, skin up my boom boom. Pony body me a wine and a boom boom. Miss Cool it, cool it down. Cool it, cool it down. Cool you want to ride me like a genie. So, me say, open sesame. 
Yeah, man. And she had a um, blue party, a blue wig party. Yeah. Girl, honey, she had some blue braids all the way down to her can coats, girl. Yes, and she had on a blue spot. She looked it good. Shouts out to Mrs. Mother of Two. Ooh, girl, what I tell you, you is out here mothering two children's girl. Girl, you are doing it, honey. Listen, whether you have a baby father by your side or not, girl, you are a super, a super mom. Shouts out to Favor Ain't Fair. Ooh, girl, what I tell you? It ain't fair, girl. The favor that you receive ain't fair, girl. But you still standing, girl. You're a survivor. Yes, ma'am. Shouts out to April Cooking Made Easy. Ooh, girl, April, girl, you is cooking in August, girl, and you're making it look easy and simple, girl. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Honey, the girls can do it at home too. Shout out to Alex Rivera. Ooh, Alex Rivera. Honey, papi, mami, madre, padre, honey. Que pasa contigo, dímelo. And last but certainly not least. Shout out to Donette. Ooh, girl, good body, still good girl, Donette. Dan Dan girl, girl, everybody come out and you look good at the girl, them don't like you. Guess what? You know, care. Listen, we yeah, love and appreciate care. you guys for tuning in every single day. Yes, ma'am. Okay, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Yes, so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. And guys, listen. Do not let fear... In have, have interfere. Girl. Do not let fear, fear interfere. interfere. Girl. Overcome that fear. Okay? Message. Anyways, guys, drop it. They ain't got no damn catfish. They, they don't? No. Drop a cat and a fish. Y yes. Drop I am the smartest person in the world. You are, sis. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, so drop a cat and a fish down below. You can be for in a video or whatever, girl. Honey, and we will see you in tomorrow's video. And as we always say, every, every day, day is another chance. So slicey, bitch. We love you guys. Bye. Body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins.